Jason Rezaian was arrested in July of 2014, along with his wife and two other people, on charges of spying and distributing propaganda against the Islamic Republic. While the others were later released, the Washington Post journalist remained in detention. His mother, Mary Rezaian, told reporters Monday that her son is a pawn in a political game between Iran and the United States. Jason is a dual citizen and he is paying the price of the suspicion, the animosity and the, and the paranoia between the two countries for more than 37 years. Iran's judiciary claims to be independent, but this has all been behind closed doors. Rezaian's family has always maintained he is innocent. I'm challenging those, those people who arrested him and are trying him to show the evidence that they are using, accusing him of espionage. I want them to publish that information. And I want to make public the tapes from the trial so that the Iranian people and the American people can see if Jason really did harm to Iran or not. The U.S. government on Monday repeated its call that Rezaian and other Americans held in Iran be set free. We continue to call for his immediate release, as well as uh, that of Saeed Abedini and Amir Hekmati, uh, and we continue uh, to call for Iran to work with us to locate Robert Levinson uh, so that all can be returned to their families. The Washington Post has filed a petition against Iran with the United Nations Human Rights Council. The Post's management called Rezaian's detention arbitrary and has condemned a lack of transparency in the reporter's trial. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.